Ladies and gentlemen, the time has finally come. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are officially released. And we are about to dive into the Sinnoh region, finally. I'm very excited for this. This will be a hardcore Nuzlocke challenge. Uh, we'll go through the rules here right, the, right at the start, just so that we're all on the same page here. Essentially, we're going to be following all the normal rules of a Nuzlocke challenge, which would be I can only catch the first encounter on each new route or area, and anything that faints is considered dead and must be boxed and never used again. Now, the extra rules here, which makes it a little more spicy and interesting for us, will be that I'm going to be playing on set mode. Um, I will also... Um, be playing with level caps. So the way we're gonna go with level caps is I can't level my Pokemon higher than the gym leader. So if the Pokemon, uh, their their highest Pokemon is level 14, I can't level my team past that. If I do, I'll have to box the Pokemon that is higher. Um, and then also I'm gonna be unable to heal during battle, which definitely makes it uh, a lot more interesting. So I'm super excited and let's just get right into it. <laughs> There's the guy right there. Mustache looking as strong as ever. Love to see it, Ron. What's happening? Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. I feel like the text in this looks fake. Like I don't know, I don't know why, but uh, he's gonna show us. He's gonna show us a Pokemon. We're quite familiar, but there's a Munchlax. Nice. Um, so I've seen a little bit of information about this game. Uh, we do essentially know that it's a direct, you know, kind of one-to-one -one faithful remake of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Makes me a little bit sad that they didn't include any of the platinum. Uh, updates, but you know what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Um, the one thing I would hope for would be the platinum encounters, but yeah, everything is pretty much exactly what you would expect from uh, a Diamond and Pearl remake. So my name is Hayden. If this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome. It's probably not. Um, I've been on the YouTube scene for too long now. I actually have very fond feelings toward uh, Diamond and Pearl. Essentially, this was the region that. Uh, Started me out kind of getting deeper into the Pokemon world. Uh, if you guys, some of you might have, <laughs> might have, uh, we're just gonna go with Barry for this guy. Some of you guys might have been around from the early days of when I used to upload videos of Wi Fi battling in Diamond and Pearl. If so, leave a comment and let me know. But uh, <laughs> we started, I pretty much started out uh, playing uh, Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl was the introduction to Wi-Fi battling, which is what got me, you know, learning more about the Pokemon world, learning about effort values, individual values, breeding. Uh, the whole competitive scene kind of opened my, expanded my Pokemon world and really kind of got me to the interest level that I'm at today. So I played a lot of Diamond and Pearl as a lad, and I'm excited to see how they've uh, done it justice with the, the the switch remake so despite the exploration team's best efforts the rare oddly covered colored pokemon eluded detection rumored red gyarados failed to appear even fleetingly to the crestfallen team you know i don't know why they shout out the red gyarados though you never even what the hell <laughs> i am uh also apparently a baby uh, yeah I, I don't know about the chibi whatever brought to you by jib live tv on nationwide net that's a nice tv i got there you know a little outdated but better than before now we also have a nintendo switch just laying on the ground okay so <laughs> I honestly i can't get over the uh the way the characters look but i mean it, it's something that i guess it's gonna grow on us but let's go take a look at the old pc before we head and you check the pc pokemon basics people okay so this is gonna give us give us some basics you love to see it um we will go straight up into the options here first things first let's uh let's take this tech speed to fast um, we can also change the window type. These are all of our familiar... I think these are all the same as before. Um, I'm going to go... I like this blue. I'm a big big fan of the blue. Battle effects going to stay on. Battle style to set. That's going to make things a little more difficult for us in this Nuzlocke. Uh, send to boxes manual or automatic. That's interesting. I'm going to do... I'm going to leave it on manual. Give nicknames. Hmm. You can just turn off nicknames. Gyroscope use. You can choose whether you wish to tilt your Joy-Con for controls in certain locations. I'm just going to uh, leave that. Autosave. On. It's nice that you can turn autosave off, not really too big of a deal. Show nicknames. Background music. Go up or down. We're just going to leave it at what it was. Sound effects, the same. Cries. Interesting. All right. So we're going to hit B to set and end. And we're in it, boys. We are we up in this. I can't believe it is finally here. It is currently midnight on release time. So I'll be out here waiting, boys. Why am I such a baby? Jeez. It <laughs> Barry came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. All right, so that's my mom. She looks like a baby as well. And uh, what you watching? That's a, okay, got a Chansey there. Interesting. So I actually, I do like the general overall feel of the graphics. Everything's shiny. Everything's looking pretty good. You're okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, okay, I'm about to walk out here and probably get bumped into by our guy. 
I had to go with the classic. Oh wait, never mind. This, never mind. Just kidding. I had to go with Barry because it wouldn't feel the same if I named him something different. Got the nice flickering light. The control. It. Everything feels pretty smooth. I actually. I enjoyed it. So we gotta, of course, walk up here and have this guy push me out of the way. Barry was looking for you. I think he's home now. Why don't you go check it out? All right, fine. I'm gonna go do some exploring. Now this is our town. There, is, it consists of four houses. That's literally it. Um, and this is Barry's house, obviously. He's got a light on. That's how you can tell. There he is. He, th he thuds us there. What up, Barry? What was that about? Oh, hey, hey. I'm gonna go. I'm going to the lake. You should come to and be quick about it. So we're gonna go look, look for that red Gyarados, I suppose. Find us one million dollars. Good old classic Barry hasn't changed a bit. Forgot something. Oh, okay. So uh, I guess we'll, we'll follow him in and go see what's happening. I'm re pretty much ready to just get my freaking Pokemon here. What's up, Barry's mom? Why do you look so sad? He was gone for a second, but he came running right back home. Can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. Where's his dad? Why is there no father figures around this place? Better take my bag and my guidebook, too. <laughs> what up, bro? Sorry, I just walked into your room unannounced, but yeah, so we're going to the lake. Um, and what do you, what do you got on the TV? I look kind of crazy. Got some coffee over there. All right, no, no, no more time for this nonsense. We're getting into it. Good old Twin Leaf Town, just how I remembered it. All right, so uh, we head over this way, and then he's like, "Hey, what's up?" I actually do really like the, the overall look and feel of everything. is super. It, it feels very, it feels very much Nintendo-y. I don't know how. To, I mean. Yeah, I guess you guys probably know what I'm talking about, but... I'll bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. Okay. So he follows us around. And... Whoa! Damn, Barry! That guy be quick as hell! How you teleport like that? <laughs> I like how his hair is it's my more uh, swoopy. Mine's got that bedhead look going, but we're pretty similar looking dudes. Alright, to the lake. Let's find us a Red Gyarados. Listen, Barry, we don't even have a Pokemon yet, bro. You're absolutely tripping if you think we're about to find a Red Gyarados. What's going on? Ooh. Look at that water, okay. There isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we've seen the lake. He's like, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> That's some water. We're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? Must be exciting again. It's one thing I could say. Many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh, the region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Hmm, yes, very well indeed. Says Rowan. He's like, who the hell are these two similar looking kids? Excuse me, let us pass, please. All right, hey, can, listen, can you give me a Pokemon or something? I beg your pardon? We'll be on our way. Don be looking extra chibi as well. All right, what's up? What was that about? Those two. Maybe they took the Red Gyarados. I actually do really like the the, the water back there. It looks nice. Well, it's not. Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't be out there long enough to, for a wild Pokemon to come out. I really wish that the overworld, the Pokemon were seen in the overworld, like in. Uh, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, but, you know. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who are they? I heard them, heard them say Professor. How do they just forget they breathe cape? Oh, shit, okay. So, yeah, the Starlies just attack you straight away. And uh, we don't have any Pokemon, so it turns out there's conveniently some Pokeballs right here. So we're going to take one. Uh, the starter choice is actually pretty important. Uh, one of the things that I can say is that Chimchar is one of like the four or three freaking fire type Pokemon you can catch in the whole damn region. I, or not catch, but it, uh, obtain. Um, and I think I'm going to have to go with Chimchar. Now, the original playthrough, my very first playthrough, I played Pokemon Pearl. Uh, I chose Pipla. I'm going with Chimchar because I always wished I chose Chimchar. Um, so yeah, we're taking the Chimp Pokemon, Chimchar. And he's just uh, he's an easy, goofy little guy. He's... About to heck up some Starlies right now. All right. Looks pretty much like what we've seen from the trailers. I like it. All right, Chimchar. What if this was a shiny Chimchar? <laughs> that would actually be crazy. One day, one day I'll get a shiny as my first uh, starter Pokemon in a game. And I now realize my camera cannot be there. So we'll go lower. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we essentially just scratched the hell out of this fella, and this level 2 Starly, we probably could have beat up with our bare hands, but we'll just let Chimchar do it with his, and he dead. So, nice. It's actually kind of cool seeing the interface of everything, actually, I like it. It's looking pretty sleek, pretty smooth, I dig it. Fwah! Your Chimchar totally rocked, but my Piplup was way tougher than yours. There were other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. They don't mind, do you want really? No? Okay, well, we're, we're gonna take them regardless if they mind or not. So, yeah. 
There's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I lost it. She's like, there's only one Pokemon there, and there's two missing, two dudes just chilling here, hovering over it. Did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? My gosh. What was the professor going to say? He's going to be angry. You know how rare those things are? You can't even find them here. That's something I never really understood. How the starter Pokemon, you can't even find them in the region that they're from. I, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I get it from a, a gameplay standpoint, but like, what the hell? Where did he get those? All right, you go ahead. I know we've got to return these Pokemon. They're not ours, but I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. And then we never saw Barry again. I really wish I could run. It's very clunky walking around like this. Help. You all got running shoes? I can't run in these shoes. I need specific running shoes. I heard from Don that used our Pokemon. Let's see them, please. Hmm, Chimchar and Piplup. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. <laughs> Thought I'm going back to my lab. He just, he looked, something just so goofy about his little ass briefcase and he's just stomping away. Is he angry? I think he's mad at us. See him. Alright, so Nuzlocke technically does not start until we get Pokeballs, of course. That is the rule of thumb, so if somehow a Bidoof kills my Chimchar on the way to the lab, we're good. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, we just teleport into... Damn, Mom, you got some big ass hair. You got some cookies or something over there. What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad both you and Barry are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Roan of San Jim Town. Heard that he's well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. I think you need to visit him in San Jim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Listen, those birds were about to beat us up. Yes, okay, nice. We get some running shoes. Those other shoes that I had on could not run in them at all. Those running shoes can get to faraway places much faster. Let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. But the running shoes and blaze new trails of adventure. We don't even have to press B? Hold up. You mean to tell me I don't even have to press B anymore? So if we just go a little bit, we walk, and then a, a lot of bit, we run in. Damn. I'm, I, it's still habitual for me to just hold B, so I'm gonna do that anyway. Uh, but let's, get, let's do some running over this way. We do get an encounter. Um, and you know, while we're here, I might as well just kill this Bidoof. <laughs> Uh, just because I can. And luckily it's not shiny because we don't have Pokeballs yet. That has yet to happen to me, but one day it will, I'm sure of it. Um, we'll grab some free experience while we got these these Bidoofs here. One thing to notice is it does seem like the game plays a little bit quicker than it was obviously in Diamond and Pearl. They did fix some of the speed issues in Platinum, but the HP bar and everything seems to be going much quicker. Uh, it was painfully slow in Diamond and Pearl, and that's one of the big gripes people had with it. Um, but continuing this way, we will have to just go right on up this way, and uh, 201 that away. Let's just go you know, right into Sand Gem, because there's nothing for us over there, especially before we got Pokeballs, so. Hello. There you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Alright, this is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. I sure hope he lets us keep the freaking gym chart, thud. Why are you always bumping into me, bro? Doesn't matter, Hayden. I'm out of here. See you later. Damn, he's so quick, man. I got running shoes and ran my ass over here and everything. He's still quicker. Alright, so, this is the shiny, damn bro, what kind of cleaning materials are you using on this floor? It is shiny, <laughs> seems very slippery, alrighty then, I'll give you that Chimchar as a gift. Thanks pal, now that is yours, would you like to give it a nickname? You bet your sweet ass I would, Rowan. Um, so, I've decided that I'm gonna kind of at least try to have a general theme of my Pokemon nicknames in this Nuzlocke, and... That is going to be cereals. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is basically just name everything based off of like cereal brands, at least until I run out of names. Uh, but I'm gonna name my Chimchar Pebbles. He will be our fruity Pebbles. And there's not really like a spicy cereal, so Fire type doesn't. I don't know. Whatever, he's fruity Pebbles. That's fine. I'm happy with that nickname indeed. I actually probably should have taken a look at that gym chart before I just grabbed it. What if it's a, it's probably an awful nature, oh god. Oh god, I actually really want to see the interface of the Pokemon and everything. So glad that you're kind, you're kind toward Pokemon. Who says that? If you weren't, I'd have to. I can't say it. What were you gonna say? Also, man's head is massive. Ahem, let's move to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. He's like, that, free, that was not a free Pokemon. Listen, now you gotta go do a whole ass quest for me, boy. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it's necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I would, uh, wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Nah, no. He's like, oh. Credits roll. Game over. Can't stand here without speaking for hours. I'm a very patient man. Let me ask you again. <laughs> he will say, why, did he, like, why even give us the option? 
So we get that Pokedex from the guy. Very high-tech device. Automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. You bet your sweet ass I will, Rowan. When you walked up on Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in the world. It means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Your grand adventure begins now. We're in it, boys. We're in it. Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. Uh, if you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Really? Is that actually the thing? Anyways, I'm done. Also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So I understand some just like you. I also, I like the, the camera kind of slowly panning is interesting. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Hayden. The text still seems weird. I don't know why, but we're basically slipping and sliding on this shiny ass floor. Uh, Dawn's going to now teach us how to catch a Pokemon, I believe. Follow me. Yep. I think or she's going to show us like there's a Pokemon Center and then we got the Mart and the whole the whole rundown. Um, so far, I'm actually digging the graphic style. I think that the character model, the, the, what gets me the most is that the character models look so damn weird, like in short and baby and small, but then as soon as you get into like a battle and you see like their actual full bodies and stuff, they're like tall and they look normal, but like, it's just, there's some type of disconnect between what they look like now and then when like I get into a battle. Uh, anyway, so we have ourselves some pebbles here. Let's take let's take a look at old fruity pebbles. Um, very interesting kind of interface here. I am naughty nature, which you know is fine. Um, I got a female starter, which is actually kind of cool. And uh, yeah, pretty much about what you would expect. So we're gonna go grab a heal, and then we're just gonna go north to where Don will then you know show us some stuff. Seems like the seems like the lights were flickering. I don't know. Um, Let's get it. Ooh, damn, this place is looking oiled up. It's the most spotless Pokemon Center around. Sinnoh has great janitors. Look at that floor. Good lord. All right, <laughs> so we heal. Um, I don't really want to do no talking to people. I honestly would like to just head on up. This way we have Route 202, and she's chilling over here. So um, it's actually pretty important that we get our early encounters. we got to make sure that we catch the Pokemon. Um, and also, wait, she, she told me that I can't do this yet. I honestly thought that you did this now. Don, what the, what the hell? Why didn't I read that? I'm gonna tell my family. All right, that's fine. I actually should probably grind my way back there, at least kill a couple things to just get a couple extra levels. We do not have Pokeballs yet, of course. Um, but let's battle, let's battle something. I'm sure we'll find a wild Pokemon. Okay, or not. I like the, I like the little, uh, grass animation, the grass flying around and you guessed it it's another Bidoof very nice I'm sure that one of our first encounters is gonna be a Bidoof um, in this game it's actually a little different you don't have to rely on HM slaves like you like you once did in Diamond Pearl Platinum um, I think when you want to use just like rock smash on something a wild Pokemon just comes and you just summon a wild Pokemon to do it for you so Bidoof kind of is out of a job here my guy uh, he got his job taken from him, but we still take a Bidoof because, honestly, ever since uh, Pokemon Snap came out, I have a new fondness for Bidoof. I feel like that a lot of people also feel similar, uh, but Bidoof's actually kind of <laughs> cool. We do learn Ember, so now we got a fire move. Look at that. All right. And I honestly don't remember early Diamond and Pearl. Did we battle Dawn before she shows us how to do stuff? I don't even know. Uh, but either way, that Chimchar about to get roasted and toasted if that's the case. But Hey, Mom. I'm never coming back. See ya. Made dinner, take a quick rest. All right, all right, so we take a quick quick rest and then we're like, uh, yeah, I'm actually headed out. It's also, and I just now realized, I don't have the hat on. I wondered why my Sinnoh guy looked so un -Sinnoh. Where's my freaking hat? You have to like buy that thing? Plus you're not alone, you have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. Yep, I'm about to leave you here forever. Dad left you as well, and uh, we got a guidebook, nice. That's pretty neat. Oh, what the hell happened? Hello? Excuse me, is my little berry here? Nope. Must have left already. What to do? The boy shouted at going on an adventure, then he bolted. And he's literally leaving forever. Take this to Barry for me. We got the parcel. Already turning into the Sinnoh delivery boy. You'll love to see it. Uh, we will carry out our duties in giving Barry the parcel. Alright. Ooh. Okay. I like the sounds. I'm digging it. Uh, okay, there, and, and also, I honestly, <laughs> there's our hat. We got our, we got our freaking hat. Anyway, what's up? My mom said I can hang out. 
That's right. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. Yeah, so she's gonna show us. I think it's a Shinx. Or what does she what does she find? No, just a Bidoof. Okay. Just kidding. Literally all you've seen in the wild is Bidoofs, which is fun stuff. Um and so there's our little Turtwig. Look at that little Twiggy boy. Level 2 Bidoof is going to be a great addition to the squad here. So a nice tackle. Does just about half to it. You love to see it. It yells. Okay. Some absolutely riveting gameplay here as well. Its HP is down. It's ready for a Pokeball. And yeah, so she throws it. I, I wish there was a speed up button. Can I hit... Where's the speed up button? And just like that, that's how you catch a Pokemon. Alright, Bidoof was caught. Very cool. Hey, listen, can I have that Bidoof? Are you going to use that? What are you going to do with this Bidoof? Giggle. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Alright, so she gives us some Pokeballs, and now the Nuzlocke has officially started, ladies and gentlemen. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. When do I get them to follow me? I know that that happens. When can I do it? Um, so let's take a look at our at our bag here. We haven't actually even been into our bag, but looking pretty similar. Um, we, got our, we got our freaking Pokeballs here, and as you'll see, if I delete that, we, um, we have 20 of them. Damn, who goes up with... 20 Pokeballs early. Hot damn. Um, so that's nice. 20 Pokeballs is great. Let's get our first encounter here, boys. First thing we come in run into, we can catch and it's a Starly. Hey, that's not a Bidoof, so that's actually perfect. Um, one thing to note is we're probably we're due to get something different anyway, because if we caught a Bidoof on the route prior, then a duplicate's claws would allow us to then basically, you know, get something new guaranteed. So we will throw a Pokeball here at this little Starly fella. I'm not even going to weaken it. I'm not even going to take Dawn's advice because you can just you can just throw a Pokeball like that. And wouldn't you know it, we got a Starly. Bam, bam, bam. All right, so this is actually, that's great. That's great for us. Starly's a, uh, we love, all my homies love Staraptor. They flock in great numbers. Though small, they flap their wings with great power. Nice. So we will give you a nickname. And what series are you going to be? There's a lot of serial options. Better Captain Crunch some hose. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at this bad boy's stats, nature, and stuff. See if we ended up with a good Starly. It's actually pretty important to get a good nature. If it's not, that sucks. It is. It's modest, which I was gonna use that as a bad example, because uh, as you can see here, indicated by the arrows, that boosts my special attack and lowers my physical attack. Now Starly is a physical attacker, so having a modest Starly is just awful so that's cool um <laughs> let's go back into sand gem town let's uh let's just go heal up real quick because now if we start losing stuff we lose for real the pokemon die out there they die for real so we're gonna heal um and i should probably start i, I think there's an exp share that's like baked in essentially right like we can't even take that off but so that's kind of nice um, there is also a route just directly south of this, which I always forget about. This is Route 219. Now, unfortunately, there is not anything you can do other than fish. But there's an antidote, so we'll take that. Um, but yeah, we can't... I can't get any, catch anything here, obviously. Look at them footsteps. Cool. So, yeah, I guess once we get the fishing route, that'll be a route that we can technically use as an encounter. But for now, let's just head back over to Route 201, where we can get a new encounter. Which is probably going to be a Bidoof, but honestly, I'm fine with that. If it is. Maybe not. Maybe it won't be. It's... Yeah, you guessed it, it's a Bidoof. All right. So I'm probably gonna go with the old throw Pokeball method with this thing as well. These early route Pokemon do not have difficult catch rates. And so we don't really have to worry about that. Me and, Cap Me and Captain Crunch and Pebbles here are gonna add just some more cereal to the squad. Yep. Easy. Bidoof been caught, all right. What cereal am I gonna name you? I'm gonna run out of cereals, honestly, but for as, as long as we can go, we're going to do it. Pebbles and Captain Crunch have a new friend. Bidoof data added to the Pokedex with nerves of steel. Nothing can perturb it. Per <laughs> perturb. It is more agile and active than it appears. It looks pretty agile. Uh, we are going to give you a nickname, and we are going to name you 
All right, Bidoof is Toast Crunch as Cinnamon Toast Crunch because he kind of looks like cinnamon. And he, I feel like it's fitting, okay? He's a cruncher guy. So <laughs> let's take a look at this Bidoof and see what we got going for your nature, little friend. Please be something good. Naive nature. Okay, so... Not great. So we don't like any minus defense. If, if it's a nature that's minus defense, that kind of sucks. Um, the good thing about Chimchar is that at least it has a plus attack nature. This thing can run uh, special... Or physical. I think along the way we get both. So for now it actually kind of sucks because we're just working with emerald or emeralds. Ember? What the fuck? Alright, so now that we've assembled all the cereals that we can at the moment, it is time to continue on to this route where we're then gonna have some uh some tra our first trainer battles, I believe. And we got a couple of weak fellas here, but we're gonna in order to fix that, what we're gonna do is I'm just put you in front. Pebbles is probably chilling here at level seven. Um, one thing to note is that the first gym leader does have its highest Pokemon at level 14, so we cannot over level, which is great. I don't see us having that being a problem, at least for a little while, but just something to keep in mind. Youngster Tristan here is our first trainer battle. He was just frozen in time. He's got a Starly. You guessed it. He's just working with whatever you can find right here. And, uh, Captain Crunch about to show you who's the crunchiest. I'm tackling Growl, so some quality options here. Holy shit, okay. That's not ideal. I mean, now that you, level five, I feel like this guy, the first trainer usually has like a level, like two level freaking twos, but the guy coming out here hot with his Starly, hot damn, bro. I gotta switch into Pebs. Pebbles has no problem with his growl. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Also, you guys ever seen a bird growl? I don't think I've ever seen a bird growl. Ember that ass. Yeah, quick attack does a lot. Okay, that was a crit. This is not the start we were really looking for, but that's okay. I don't even think you can even kill me with another crit, so that's fine. That one does not crit, so it doesn't do much. And we just go ahead and breathe a little fire on you, and Starly's dead, so... Okay, we got a crit of our own. The quality experience for the whole squad here, I guess we'll see... Yeah, so everybody gains some experience points now. Captain Crunch gets to level 5. Nice. What I've heard is it's actually not a lot of people were a little bit outraged once they found out that uh, the exp share you cannot turn off and on but from my understanding it actually doesn't really serve too much of an impact um the benched pokemon don't get nearly as much as the pokemon that's fighting so we'll see how that goes along the way but we're gonna heal and we're gonna get our asses back out there all right Next worthy opponent, I spy with my little eye a trainer, a battle please. I wonder, I mean, I assume all of the NPC text and everything is pretty much exactly what it used to be. Uh, I unfortunately do not really remember what it was, but I'm assuming, yeah, everything's pretty much the same. Anyway, this lady's got a Bidoof, so, you know, we've seen a total of, like, five Pokemon so far. Uh, the wild Pokemon, who's, the two of them are on the field at the moment. Uh, this Bidoof is level three, so since she has two Pokemon, she's got a couple, probably level three, so... Easy clap with a couple tackles here. As uh, our Starly is going to be a pivotal member of the squad here. Bidoof dead. See you later, little Bucktooth buddy. Uh, Captain Crunch level 6. Pebbles is you know, getting some experience back there as well. Next is another Bidoof. Very original of you, Lass. Level three, very nice. And he dead. Starly is too powerful. Lass Natalie has been defeated and <laughs> she's so sad. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm actually not that sorry. Alright, let's actually let's switch it up. Let's put let's put our little our little fella up there in front. Why not? Boom. Just gotta spread the love around. We don't have any new encounters for now, so we're just gonna try to get the team as equal as possible. <gasps> no! Shinx could have been our encounter here. I know that there's a couple other routes where that is the case, where we can grab ourselves a Shinx as well. Uh, but it's sad to see that we weren't able to get that as our guy, but it's fine. So I did have Bidoof take care of that Shinx, because he's a little bit lower on level than everybody else, so now hopefully... We'll be moving on up in the world. Level 5, if you'll feel comfortable about a level 5. And we learned Defense Curl. Nice. When in doubt, just roll yourself into a ball and uh, become more defensive. Alright, so I think that's all the trainers on this route. Nope, just kidding. There's a whole there's a whole ass other kid. Alright, what's up, bro? A Pokemon kind of hurt a little bit, but I have a feeling that you're not going to be too scary. So, Oh, he has one Pokemon, so it's going to be a decent level. Yeah, it's another Shinx. Okay. 
What a great little Pokemon. We love Shinx. Ooh, and this one's got Intimidate. Okay. Okay. Um, I will actually switch. I'm gonna go right into Pebbles immediately. An Intimidate Pokemon is always extremely valuable. In Nuzlocke challenges, just having that defensive um, upper hand is always just super nice. But a couple embers should do the trick here. It's level 5. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that! Shinx does not like the fire. He does have he got that stab move. Just Thundershock, but that's alright. He's just staring into my soul, though. Kind of making me feel uncomfortable there, Shinx. But you're dead, so... Crisis averted. Level 5 Shinx. We have overcome the problem. And uh, look at those levels. Very nice. Hey, Logan, what the hell was that, bro? What was that, Logan? All right. So, boy, are my Pokemon tired from that long journey of this route. Hey, actually, there's a guy over here looking at this item. We'll grab that potion. We can't use these in battle or anything, but it's nice to have them for out of battle. All right, that guy just doesn't need a battle list, so we call that a why bother. Here we are in Jube Life City. May comes waddling up to us. What up? Or May. It's, listen, it's late, okay? <laughs> Dawn comes waddling up. I think you feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. In Jube Life City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know, as you, uh, you should visit it, you'll get some tips on Pokemon. Ah, uh, yes, Barry went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. All right, thanks for the info. See ya. Take a look at this here sign. Ooh, okay. I like this. City of Joy. I'm feeling very joyful in the city. I actually like that little camera angle switch up. Very nice. I believe we'll actually get our poke etch here as well. I'm not sure how that's gonna really work out, but let's grab a heal while we're here just in case. And hey, nothing's dead yet. That's I mean the hardcore Nuzlocke success so far. <laughs> Although to be fair, if I'd lost anything at this point, I uh, should probably just never play Pokemon again. Uh, anyways, let's do some exploring. We're supposed to go into the trainer school. I think I might even just head in there right now. Uh, this right here, yeah, that's the first step for trainers. Let's check it out. I think we do have a rival battle in here, but we're probably good in level. Do I battle you now? Did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle. Uh, what he brings you here, you got something for me. Yeah, we'll deliver the parcel, and then does he want an ass whooping now or later? I don't It's a town map. Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, you take one. So we got ourselves a town map. Imagine having the technology of an encyclopedia for Pokemon and we still using paper maps, bro. I mean, you have, I have... I'm sure I get the Poke Edge freaking the watch here at some point too. I guess it's kind of the same thing, but they make it seem like I just got a paper ass map. Anyway, uh, also you look important. You got colored hair and stuff, matching your boots. I like it. You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up the topics you're not familiar with. Listen, I'm gonna not do that. So yeah, thanks for that. Okay, Barry does not want these hands apparently, but uh, I think they got rid of the clown thing, or is that just platinum? I don't remember. You're a Pokemon trainer. You don't have a Poketch yet? Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. He's like, looking at my wrist. He's like, Psh, you ain't even iced out yet, bro. Not only that, I'm conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilee City. If you can find them, I'll give you your very own Poketch. Okay, so it is still the clown thing. So there's one guy right here. Look at this guy. I'm a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gaining XP points? Yes. Absolutely correct. Grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into different Pokemon through a process known as evolution. And we get a coupon, so we just kind of, you know, I guess pass all the three clown questions, and then we get our we get our watch. This lady chilling over here with the Shinx, with her Shinx, and pretty nice little, pretty nice little area. Got another guy right here. What's up, bro? I'm a Pokedash campaign clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? You betcha. Some items become effective as soon as they're held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Berries will be pretty important for us here. Uh, in the Hardcore Nuzlocke, if I can get like citrus berries, even orange berries early on are going to be pretty useful. Uh, and then over here, just because we can't heal in battle, we can we can use do it through hold items though. Just like Pokemon do the moves, the Pokemon also have types. You betcha. Boom. If Pokemon's type matches the type of move it uses, the move is made much more powerful. That's called Stab. Same type attack bonus. Uh, if you're a fire type Pokemon using a fire move, you get a nice little bonus from that. Look at that. Uh, so we got all the coupons. Hey, that was pretty easy. And we'll take him back to this fellow that was talking to me, that was uh talking to me. Let me count your coupons. I'll pull out my Pokedex here in one, two, three, bravo. I say bravo. I re return these in return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch. Pokedex for short. Nice. I'm excited. I think actually Press the R button and try it out. Ooh. Okay, it, so it looks like it was going to be the same as what it once did before in the older games. Um, yup, yep, look at that. 
We just have that bad boy just right there. Okay. Um, so you can bring it up big? Neat. So it's got like the calculator app. So all these apps are actually the same. That's the step counter. Um, there's the party. Very interesting. And if I go back that way. So it'll just, it'll just remain on the screen like that? Hmm. Well, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. See, there's no really need for... It used to just be the bottom screen thing, but... You know, there's no double screens anymore, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, up here we have Route 204. Now, I believe we're starting to get into a little more interesting level-wise. Um, but we'll still probably be good. I remember there's Budu up here for some reason. I don't know. Let's battle this lady and kind of see what she's working with here. Just to dip our toes in the old water. A weak-looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Hey, listen. That's offensive. Weak-looking trainer. All right, last Sarah. What do you got for me? Um, it's okay. Another Bidoof. They really try to just... They, get, they like to get you familiar with Bidoof. What level is this thing? Level 7? All right, so... Yeah, we're not looking great here. I'm going to probably just tackle it until this Bidoof cannot anymore. Oh, defense curl. All right. It's our first stat strategy we've seen an opponent use on us. Pretty much shivering in my boots over here. Uh, this tackle will actually basically do not much. But if you continue to defense curl, that's actually fine. We do go first this time. Does that mean we had a speed tie? I believe that does mean we have a speed tie, which is interesting because I'm two levels lower. They went first the first turn, I went first the second turn. Let's see what happens here. They go first this time. So, two defense curls and a growl. Uh, this Bidoof probably could not crawl its way out of a wet paper bag at the moment, so I'm probably going to switch this fella out. Yep, yeah, alright, but hey, we got it to like half. That's pretty good. We'll go right into the old pebbles here, because we're going to use a special attack rather than a physical, and that'll be fine. Alright, couple of embers does the old trick. Level 7 Bidoof, our strongest opponent yet is done and the good news is now we can actually catch another Pokemon to add to the team. Pebbles learns Taunt uh, which isn't horrible but not really too usable for an in-game playthrough but alright. Should have bat shouldn't have battled in the first place. Yeah listen you called me weak and I had to give you these hands. Alright uh, so this is a new route. This is Route 204. Let's see what we can find as our first encounter here shall we? Oh just kidding. This lady found us first. Damn it. That's what we got for our first encounter. Uh, some lady. Last Samantha has a budu. All right, all right. Just one little tiny bud. Um, Toast Crunch is about to absolutely just eat that thing for breakfast with no milk. Budu taken care of. And, uh, ooh, some level ups. Okay, eight, nine, and seven. Satisfying, seven, eight, nine. Love to see it. Last Samantha been defeated. See you later. You're so strong. <laughs> yeah, that, that was impressive tackles right there. All right, I'm gonna go back and heal. Then we're going to get our first encounter. Alright. Let's see what we can get over here. I know there's Wild Badu. Um, but our first encounter on this route is Cricketot. <laughs> nice. That is amazing. Now that right there is a peak performance Pokemon. Look at that little tot. Alright, so... <laughs> let's actually tackle it and then we'll just throw some balls at it. We still, we've only used, you know, a couple Pokeballs. We should be good. Actually, I'll tackle you once more. How about that? One good thing I can say about Cricketot is that when it evolves into Cricketune, it gets the most amazing cry of all Pokemon, so... Uh, you'll love to see it. We will catch it, because we do need anything we can get. This isn't great for us, because the first gym is not very nice to bug types, but... Alright, let's throw a Pokeball at it and see... See what we can get here. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me, Cricketot. I really need you. You're so important to the team. <laughs> Alright. Cricketot was caught. Very nice. Um, what serial name are you going to be? Man. Hmm. Shakes its head back to front, causing its antenna to hit each other and sound like a xylophone. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're going to give you a nickname. We will name you... Alright, we're naming this little guy Raisin Bran because, like Raisin Bran, Krigatot is a pretty mid Pokemon. We, you know, I can't say I really like it, but <laughs> that's fine. That's the fun... I have a hardcore Nuzlocke, or Nuzlocke in general, you kind of got to use what you get. Let's take a look at this thing, though, we might as well. A uh, little Raisin Bran over here is uh, going to be an adamant nature. <laughs> at least we can benefit from our, our, our moves, I guess. Uh, there you go, Cricketot. All right, well, you're coming with me. 
Anyway, we do have um, the ravaged the ravaged path right here as well, where that's a whole new encounter area. Boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the poke edge would be able to break those boulders though. So we'll actually grab this encounter now, just because we can go in this cave. We can't really go too far, but the first thing we come across in here we can catch. I think it'll probably be like a Zubat or Geodude, but a Geodude would be ideal, please. It's a Zubats, and all right. Um, so not horrible, still. My team does not look great against our first gym here, uh, and that is actually unfortunate because I'm kind of running pretty low on uh, encounters before the first gym, but I guess we'll see <laughs> We'll see how it's going to go. Um, if you're unfamiliar, obviously it's the rock gym first, so the fact that we just got a flying type, a bug type, I already have a fire type, and a flying type. Uh, Toast Crunch is looking, you know, like our best option with his normal ass moves. Anyway, we catch the Zubat. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. So, we will give you a nice little nickname as well, little buddy. And what are you going to be? Alright, Zubat's going to be Frosted Flake. I do like Frosted Flakes. Crobat's also pretty cool. So, if you live to be a Crobat one day, you're going to be alright with me. Anyway, we'll grab this Pokeball, except freaking... Zubat's in the way, of course. Also, I do like... Can I make a note that I do enjoy the uh, the environment? It does look different than where we actually are in this cave. It looks like this environment's built for like the Orberg mine area. But, you know, still pretty cool. Do you like? I'm a big fan of the battle environments. We'll grab that there antidote. We can't quite smash these rocks yet, so it's time to head to a new area. Okay, so hold up. There's actually, there's an item over here. It's probably just going to be like another potion or an antidote or something. But, you know, we'll take it. Also, I keep finding Shinx when I can't catch them and it's making me upset. Gosh dang it. And it's an Intimidate Shinx, bro. Yeah, we grab the Paralyze Heal. We'll take that. You never know. You never know. I can't use that in battle, but it's good to have. Look at that absolute unit of a squad right there. My god. The the pa the sheer power displayed on that screen is just unmatched. Alright, so <laughs> we're pretty much done with this city. I know that there's, you know, more to explore and stuff, but there's really nothing that we really need to do. So we're going to head over this way where we actually are going to have a rival battle. Uh, checking out the team, I think we're probably going to be okay to do it. Uh, I have balls of steel, so you know what? I'm doing it. Why not? What up, Barry? Ooh, interesting camera. Okay. Tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Okay, so if I remember correctly, I think he just has two Pokemon? Yes. All right. What do you got for me, Barry? I don't know what levels you're at or anything, but he leads off with a Starly here. Uh, and then, of course, he has his Piplup, so... Hopefully we'll be okay here. I think we should be just think we should be just fine. Level 7 Starly as I'm level 7 myself. And I guess we're just going to tackle it out. There's really not much of a benefit to using other, I, mean, I would just prefer to get the damage to be honest. He growls me, but that's fine. There, there goes those damn growling birds again. Good old lifeless stare. Love to see it. Okay, he's growled me too many times. And I'm sick and tired of it, so we're just gonna switch into Chimchar. Give you a couple emerald. We've been growled too many times, we're just gonna switch into Chimchar. This is fine, we're level 9. Just gonna give you a couple embers. How about that, buddy? Okay, never mind, just quick attack, that's okay. Pebbles isn't looking too great here, but one more ember will take care of it. Plus, ember's not gonna, er, emerald's not gonna be. Fuck. Why do I keep saying emerald? Plus. Freaking Chimchar is not going to be useful for this upcoming thing anyway, so. The bad news about playing on set mode is that I can't immediately switch as I see what he's going to bring in. We also got a wing attack there on Captain Crunch. Very nice. Ooh, Raisin Brand with the Struggle Bug. Nice. Everybody's getting the love. So here's Piplup. Um, so yeah, I can't immediately switch. This thing's level 9, so that's actually not a really ideal... Um, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into Cinnamon Toast Crunch here initially. We're gonna get a couple, you know, decent chunks of damage on this thing, and then we can always go into Starly. So this is why it's beneficial to have you know a decent amount of Pokemon at this point uh, in the game. So he goes for the Pound and gets a critical hit, of course, because of course he does. Why you know why wouldn't you? Um, now it growls. Everybody wants to growl at Bidoof. What did Bidoof ever do to you guys? All right, we can take one more Pound here with Bidoof. 
And it's our first time hearing the, uh, the panic noise. We did get this thing to nearly half. Beedoo tried his best. Uh, let's switch on into Captain Crunch here. And hopefully we'll be able to take this thing's pounds nicely. We're basically going to have to use freaking everything we've got against this guy. I know, I'm sure he has bubble or whatever at this point, right? Um, there's just the pound. He's just, he's just pounding away at me. But we do have wing attack. Nice solid flying stab move. You love to see it. Finally able to use them wings. A couple of these should do the job. He says, I don't too like that. And here's, take this yell. Thank you, sir. Oh. Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a bit tight. You don't think. Well, this will not kill. We can freaking growl. No, we just... Uh, never mind. Of course. Okay. Piplup dead. First rival... Real rival battle. Actually, that was the first one in general. Is, uh... Is complete. And some level ups on the squad here. Look at... Raisin Brand's already level 7. Just... Uh, this little raisin growing up right before our eyes. We haven't even used him yet. <laughs> but Barry has been defeated. What just happened? I lost? You sure did, buddy. Got some good money from him. And, uh... What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. Gonna be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is to take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that totally. Nice. Alright, so let's, uh... I'm gonna heal, and then we'll go get a new route encounter over that way. Alright, so here we are on Route 203. This is a new opportunity for an encounter, and boy, can we please get something nice here. Give me a Shanks. Uh, if it's something that we already have, obviously duplicates don't count. So our first encounter here being Starly uh, does not count toward our actual encounter. So that's the good thing about having already got Bidoof and Starly. Now we're basically kind of, you know, gonna be able to get something nice considering that those are like the two, you know, easy encounters here we've got. Second encounter is <laughs> the Cricketot. So we've already got Cricketot as well. The Duplicates Clause is really helping us out here because I'm pretty sure it might, the, the last thing might actually be Shinx. I actually have no idea. What's it gonna be? It is a Shinx! Nice! Alright. Wild Shinx, what is popping, my dude? I knew we would get one of these fellas. He does intimidate us. Beedoof says, I ain't afraid. I've seen many of you fellas. See, it's level 4. Uh, let's give this thing... You know what? I'm just gonna throw a ball. It's worked out for us so far. We're just gonna... <laughs> We're just gonna do that. I have 16 Pokeballs, and if I can't catch this Shinx, I will quit Pokemon forever. Boom! We catch it first try. Shinx is on the squad, and that is amazing. All right, so I know I no longer have the FOMO of not having a Shinx, so we're looking good. Um, let's take a look at your Pokedex. All of its dazzles, all of its fur dazzles. If dangerous signs, it flees while the foe is momentarily blinded. Interesting. All right, so what should we nickname this fella? All right, we've saved the best nickname for Shinx. He will be Lucky Charms because this thing is going to be our Lucky Charm. And that makes a full team of mods right here. Check this out, boys. We got a full squad. Let's look at the, let's look at old Lucky Charms. He's only level 4, so not too useful yet. It is docile nature, so that is neutral, which is honestly fine. I'd rather have a docile nature than a minus, you know, stat that I that I need. So, um We've got some battles over here, and then we're going to get through that cave. See ya. Whole squad eaten. Test crunch with a rollout. Nice. Lucky Charms is probably going to need to get that EXP share love before we end up using it in too many battles, but that's fine. Over this way, we've got an item. We'll take that. Hey, it's a Pokeball. We always take a free Pokeball. And it's you. We're always together. This guy really loves this Cricket Hot. About to crush this man's dreams. Alright. Cricket Hot squashed. Levels gained. Shinx gets its first taste of blood here against uh, this here Starly because uh, we actually do have an electric attack built into this bad boy. Also, Lucky Charms, is, his tail looks like a Lucky Charm. 
And so I think I've chose the correct nickname for this little fella. There you go. All right, Starly dead. All right. Let's head on into this cave, because we can actually catch something new here as well, and this should be fun. What up, hiker? Sick beard you got there. Look at there, you've got a Pokatch. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? It's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me take make a gift of these technical machines to you. We get TM98s. Um, and they are reusable, so that's pretty nice. Quality of life changes. We get Rock Smash. If I'm going to use a technical machine to teach your Pokemon a move that TM will then break. Uh, so they ca oh, wait. Never mind. Let's add our new feature to Pokedex the Rookie Trainer. Hidden Moves app. Hello? Use Rock, sma rock Smash from your Pokedex in a while. The Pokemon will get rid of boulders on your path. Use this hidden move in the field and you only first need... Uh, yes, yeah, so we can't use it in the field yet until we get the gym badge, but... Uh, interesting. Alright. Let's see what our first encounter in this cave might be. I'm hoping for a Geodude. We already have Zubat, so that doesn't... Yeah, alright. First encounter is Geodude. Very nice. Solid defensive mon. This thing is very important to get. I have Krikatot in front, which is probably not a good play here. Uh, so I'm actually gonna... <laughs> I'm actually gonna switch you out. Um... Hmm. I'm just gonna go into Toast Crunch. I was gonna go into Shinx to intimidate it, but I think that it probably could have just thrown a Pokeball and caught it, but... Let's bring in Toast Crunch. Also, I probably should have healed. Ooh, shit, he getting shiny. Here we go, Pokeball. Yes. We've done it. Alright, we have not failed a Pokeball yet. Uh, Judy was caught. You just love to see it. Get that experience from the, the, the catch as well. And uh, solid addition to the squad. Many live on the mountain trails and remain half buried while keeping an eye on climbers. And we'll give you a nickname, yes indeed. Uh, you look like a Reese's Puff, so... Uh, we can actually just add this directly to our party. Now this is pretty sweet. Uh, we can just swap somebody out. I'm gonna get rid of Zubat for now. We'll just put Geodude right on in there. Reese's Puff is coming with us, boys. Um, so the squad's looking, you know, a little bit hurt. But I think for the most part we're probably okay. We have some more battles here coming up. Uh, let's just... Hold on, let's actually... We do have a couple of potions in here. We're gonna use... Actually, I just have one. Uh, we are going to use that on... You know what, I'm gonna use it on Lucky Charms. Can bring that thing in to intimidate. That'll be fine. I, I, think, I think there's only like one battle before. Oh, again, it looks like two. Alright, might get a little hairy here. What up? Cave dwelling campers. Curtis here's got one Pokemon. What you got for me, Kurt? Ooh, got a Shinx, okay. Let's see how Reese's Puff can do for us here. Intimidate's not ideal. It'd be nice if I like had Magnitude already, but you know, I do not. But we do have Tackle. All right, well, we're gonna just uh, let's switch into Pebbles. Pebbles should be able to do it. Pebbles is getting kind of close to that 14 uh, level cap. I know there's definitely some more stuff to do in the mine and things before we get to the gym leader. So we gotta ensure that Chimchar does not go above 14, but we still, we, we should be okay. That takes care of you. Lucky Charms learned Charge. See you later, buddy. We'll leave Geodude in front, why not? Another camper here, just guarding the exit, huh? To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm gonna battle you. This was a very tough cave. This was a long cave. I can see how you would like to celebrate. You got two Pokemon here with Diana. What you got for me? Okay, Budu is not what Geodude likes to see. Uh, we about allergic as hell to grass, so Reese's Puff is going to need to U-turn immediately. This thing's very low level. Let's actually let's actually go into Raisin Bran. You know what? I'm determined to get this Krikatot to work. <laughs> I doubt I'm going to bring it to this first gym, but I'll tell you what. I guarantee you this Krikatot's going to be useful. One day. It's adamant. It gets that... <laughs> it's got that strong physical attack. Goes for the growth. Okay. You're going to need it, because you're small as shit was for the Worry Seed. Worry Seed was, is always a very interesting move to me. Like, why... It's rid of my Shed Skin, gives me Insomnia, I'm just worried, I can't even sleep these days. And Struggle Bug should actually... Okay, yeah, so your part freaking... Is neutral because your part poison. Honestly, I always forget that... Badu... Is not just pure grass. But we just dropped the hell out of your special attack. It's funny that Struggle Bug is my move on this thing. <laughs> You do basically negative damage with Absorb. You might as well just heal me there, Badu. 
All right, one more struggle bug does the job, Badu, dead as hell. See you later. Next up is a Psyduck, so something new finally. Okay, what up Psyduck with your Cloud9? Uh, level 5 Psyduck, let's just continue to struggle bug here. The Psyduck looks like he has seen some shit, poor guy. Struggle bug, nearly a 2-8 KO. The special attack drops are actually damn, pretty damn useful. <laughs> tail whips <laughs> with its little, little tiny tail. More of a wag. One more struggle bug should do the trick, and who said Cricketot was useful? He may be just a little tot, but he is mighty. <laughs> so there goes the Psyduck, and we are pretty much free from this cave now. Very nice, some level ups. Love to see it. Captain Crunch to 11. Powerful. Powerful. Oh, it's like, okay, Cricketot already evolves. Okay, I honestly didn't really even know what level Cricketot evolves, but hey, that's pretty dope. We get to see the evolution animation. This is nice. Wait for it. Yes. <laughs> the most powerful Pokemon in the game. Because of that mustache. It crosses its knife-like arms. In front of its chest when it cries, it can compose Melody's ad lib. Very cool. And we learn Fury Cutter. So there you go. I'm telling you, man, this cricket this cricket tune is a threat. Damn it. So here we are in Orberg City. Um, this guy's gonna show us around, I think. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? <laughs> don't call me a noob. This guy's gonna show us where the gym is. We cannot quite go in there because we do have to go into the mine first, but this is uh oh, Barry's just waiting out there. Hello? What's up, guy? Huh? It's you, Hayden. You finally got here? Slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said I had to go, uh, oh yeah, Orberg Mine. Got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but how? I already whooped your ass. How did you already get the gym badge, bro? Uh, we're gonna stop by the old Pokemon Center. Now, what's unfortunate is I don't have anything super effective on anything we need to fight upcoming here, so that's not really great for us, but, you know... We're gonna do our best. I really wish I would have gotten Budu as my encounter earlier. So let's head south this way. This is the Orberg mine area. We got the got the conveyor belt going. I think. Pro tip: there is a hidden item over on this uh, this pile of stuff. At least there used to be. I don't know if I can like even. I thought there was a hidden item on this. I guess not. No, there is. Bag of stardust right there. All right. We'll certainly take that to sell for some serious Skrilla. Love to see it. Uh, let's just go into the mine, and I think we have just a couple of battles in there. Hey, look at that Machop. We also get a new encounter in here. Now, a Machop would be great. Can you find Machops in here? I, I remember there being Onyx, Geodude, uh, Zubat, I don't know. Let, let's, I guess let, we're gonna find out. Let's go down over this way first, and we're gonna get this here X defense. So, I guess we'll pretty much take anything we can find in here, but... What's up? Pokemon that look just like rocks. <laughs> Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. Maybe challenge to battles. All right, so first, let's see what we get as our first encounter. It is going to be another Geodude. So, duplicates claws. Do not have to worry about this Geodude. So, let's let's figure out what we can actually catch here, if there's even anything. I, I believe Onyx might be our only encounter, since we already have Zubat. I don't know. Okay, so I literally cannot find anything new in this place. I've tried for ages. I know that there's Onyx encounters in here. At least, I'm pretty sure. But, uh... Let's just continue this way and see what these guys are doing with the Machops. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Okay, I'm hoping it, I mean, it's, it's Machops, right? Worker Mason, what do you got for me? Is it, is it Machop? Yeah, it's just a Machop. Okay, so not ideal for our guy Reese's Puff here, who actually could have been named Fruity Pebble. I think that actually probably would have been better. Anyway, level nine Machop. Luckily, I do have old Captain Crunch for you, so let's see how you like a wing attack, little buddy. I believe the route north of this area does actually have wild Machops for us, so that would be actually be wildly convenient if we can get one of those uh, for this upcoming gym, so. Wing attack you a couple of times should do the trick. Or just, oh, damn, okay, you lived. What the hell. He focus in his energy. Stressing me out. Just kidding. Wing attack, you're dead. All right. And then I believe gym leader is just just south of here, just right on downward. I 
takes care of you. Team is looking great. Couple of level nines. Mason, get back to work, man. Now your Machop's dead. You're not going to be getting much work done now, are you? Uh, let's actually put Starly in front, considering... Uh, you know, no, we're not going to do that. It's fine. What have we here? Got a potion. Okay. Could always use an extra potion. Well, we found something. Is it something new? No, it's not. Alright, what's happening with you? And your hard hat. Oh, you're going to show me how you smash that, baby? Using the hidden move Rock Smash get rid of the boulder block in your way. Boom! <laughs> Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in the town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to be the gym leader first. That'd be me. And <laughs> they just run off. Alright, so uh, now we have unlocked the gym, essentially. we got some stuff to do before then. I do want to go catch the Numan over there to the north, because I think that we could get something useful for... Uh, that upcoming fight. As we stand now, we're going to have a pretty tough time with that battle because my team does not enjoy rock types one bit. But let's head uh, over this way to the north. And there's one last encounter area to get something before the gym leader, and that is this. Route 207. Now we got, can't go up the mudslide, obviously. This guy on the bicycle is it up. But this right here is where we're going to get something valuable. Hopefully, please. Let's see what we can get. I know that there is also normally Geodudes here, so since we already have one of those, that cancels that, that encounter. We're looking for a Machop, an Adamant Machop. Boy, would that be nice. There's the little blue guy we're looking for. Nice. Wild Machop is our first legal encounter, and uh, we need to catch this thing very badly. <laughs> uh, let's switch out here. Let's just go into, uh, let's go into all Raisin Bran. See how Machop likes raisins. Could probably just catch it just throwing a ball at it. I just didn't want to risk losing Geodude, because Geodude will be nice for us in the gym, at least uh, being just defensive. So let's see if we can just catch catch you with by, by throwing a Pokeball at you. Come on, Machop. Come to daddy. Damn it. It was close. There's a low kick right to the mustache. That's fine, even with a critical hit. That's all right. And we've done it. Machop on the squad. Super useful. Uh, especially because we really need this thing just for the upcoming gym. And uh, wants to learn rollout. All right, Reese's, I. Right. Very nice. We actually don't even have a rock move yet. We're going to get rid of rock polish. Probably not going to be polishing you anytime soon, little friend. Uh, let's take a look at our Machop, though. We'll actually add this thing directly to the team. Because why the heck not? Hefts a Graveler repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial arts. <laughs> every type. <laughs> Alright, we're going to name you after some cereal. Alright, Machop just seemed like a Wheaties kind of guy, so... <laughs> there you go. We will add you to the party. Let's get rid of uh, somebody who is weak to the rock, which is definitely going to be Captain Crunch. You are going to get boxed where you are safe, little buddy. You're safe now. All right, anyway, let's take a look at this here Machop. See what he is working with. How you doing, Wheaties? Please be a good nature. Brave nature. Okay, that is plus attack minus speed. Plus attack nature is fine. We are also guts, which is great. We get any status condition, boosts our attack. You just love to see it. So... Let's, uh, let's catch a heal, and then I suppose we could head into the gym, but I'm probably a little low-leveled. We know we can't go past 14, um, but we definitely need to grind up, like, Machop, and uh, we, could use, we could use just a little bit extra work on, on the squad. Uh, what really sucks, though, is that my team is still pretty damn weak to this, these Rock Boys. Uh, Reese's Puff definitely going to be relatively useful in Wheaties. Um, and Toast Crunch. Other than that, really not much. We do have Intimidate with Lucky Charm, so that's kind of nice, but I think we, uh, I think we should grind a couple levels on Machop here, and then I'm gonna head into the gym. So let me put this fella in front. Let's go get a couple easy levels on you, buddy. And yes. Alright, so I got Machop to level 10. And now it's to the point where I feel confident that we could at least bop the two trainers before the gym leader with uh, with Machop and kind of see where that takes us in terms of levels. I do want to make sure that we're pretty safe in this first gym battle. I, I would be very sad if, uh, if I lost 
to the first gym leaders. <laughs> we're going to ensure that uh, we're good here. Jonathan, what you got for me, buddy? Just a Geodude. That's fine. I've been low-kicking Geodudes all my life, bro. Real original. Rock guy's got the rock Pokemon. So level 10 as well. All right. Actually, you know, pretty threatening. I think the gym leader has two level 12s. And then the Karanidos is level 14, if I remember correctly. Uh, this is this thing defense curls, so that's annoying. But also, I love, <laughs> I love how low kicks animation just hits him with a 360. Might as well just be tail whip. Am I right? Am I right? Also, uh, as I was grinding, Chimchar grew a level where we learned Power Up Punch. Which, not to say that Chimchar is going to be super useful in this gym, but at least now we have the option for Power Up Punch, so we do at least have a fighting move with Chimchar. So that's pretty nice. As Wheaties gets to level 11 there, we get some more experience from just uh, battling these trainers, so that's pretty nice. Thank you for the experience, Jonathan. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, there's just one more person in here, and uh, we might as well just take care of it now. What's up? You can see the gym leader standing there in the, in the light. Just looks like a pretty boring job most of the time, you know, just sitting there waiting. Anyway, Darius here has two Pokemon. What do you got for me? You, have, you guessed it, a Geodude. Pretty original. I do like the environment of this gym, though. The background actually looks pretty cool. It does seem like... You know, what you would be seeing if you are actually fighting in this environment, which is sick. I dig it. Nothing worse than when you do a fight and they put you in an environment that looks nothing like where you would even be. It's, that has always been a, a pet peeve of mine. Anyway, one more low kick right in the face. In between the brows and your dude is dead. We got one more Pokemon here. Solid experience. This Toast Crunch gets to level 11. Very nice. Ooh, it's an Onyx. Okay. Big lad. Uh, you're probably pretty heavy. Let's see how a low kick does for you. Tackle, it doesn't hurt too much. It's, uh... Oof, destroyed. That'll probably uh, be the same play coming up here in the gym battle. But we get some solid experience from that as well. Raisin Bran. Another Pokemon that's not going to be too useful in this upcoming gym. But we don't have anything else to bring. So, you know, that's going to have to do. Anyway, so... Only thing left to do is to fight the gym leader, and basically we gotta make sure that our team is in fighting shape. I do think that we should definitely get some levels on these fellas before we take it on, because like I said before, we don't really have much other than Wheaties for anything really, you know, super effective. So, I'm gonna grind up, and uh, let's do it. Alright, so one of the most convenient things about our level cap being at 14 for this gym battle is that Chimchar actually evolves... And of course, we become fighting type, which honestly I forgot we evolved at 14. But now, with our little fire fighting monkey, we will be much more useful against this gym because we will be neutral to the rock and we'll also get that stab fighting. So that's pretty amazing. Pebbles is now a Monferno and he's ready to punch some shit. Hell yeah, Pebbles. Let's check out that data. To intimidate attackers, it expands the fire on its tail to make itself appear bigger. <laughs> Very cool. Wants to learn Mach Punch, which is amazing. Nice little priority fighting move. We will certainly teach that. Uh, let's just get rid of Leer. Why not? And a ta-da. We've done it. So, honestly, I was going to grind everybody to 14, but I think... Oh, jeez. Immediate encounter. I think we're actually probably all set with what we've got. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident with the combo of Machamp and Monferno. We probably should be okay to just go in there and punch some rocks. Uh, so we should be good to go, and I think we're gonna... Let's do it, boys. So I'm gonna catch a heal, and then let's go into the gym. Alright, let's get it. I think I'm probably just gonna lead Monferno, honestly. We could probably get up some power-up punches and maybe sweep. Who knows? Wheaties is level 13. I think we're pretty okay with that. Um, for the most part, we're just gonna... We're just gonna go, go for it with this squad. It could be a little scary, but... Honestly, screw it. Let's go for it. What's up, my friend? Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Let's do it. You're about to see some toughness, my friend. All right, so if I remember correctly, they give you a Stealth Rock here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so they have three Pokemon. Lead Geodude, I think, yeah. Lead Geodude should be, what, level 12 or 13? Ish. Uh, shouldn't be too big of an issue. I know that this thing probably wants to set up Stealth Rock, so it's level 12. I might even just go right for a Taunt to not allow him to get that Stealth Rock up. Although, come to think of it, that actually isn't too big of an issue because 
It would take much damage on Stealth Rock anyway. I'm, I'm just going to go right for a power-up punch here. I think it's not really worth it to waste the taunt turn. I'm going to power-up punch that there, Rock. It does do quite a bit of damage there. And we get that attack boost, which is amazing. Power-up punch Monferno OP. So yeah, they do just go for the Stealth Rock. Uh, and that's actually fine because, you know, we don't take any damage from that. Rock Thrower would, I think. I don't think these things have any ground moves. I, I, I don't think. Uh, but we're going for the power-up punch yet again to get that plus two attack. And honestly, Monferno should be good here. Power up punch really makes this actually pretty damn clutch. Maybe I didn't even maybe I didn't even need the Machop. I had the fighting type all along. Alright, <laughs> uh, so we get some levels there. Not too big of a deal. Toast Crunch, level 12. Looking a little low there, friend, but next is an Onyx. Um Onyx is kind of spooky, but I don't think it has anything to necessarily kill me. Um Hmm. There's no reason to go for Mach Punch over Power Up Punch. I'm at, I'm at plus two. I think two Power Up Punches kill this thing. And probably just Rock Throws. I'm just going to go for another Power Up Punch here. Let's see what this thing wants to do. We punch, and it nearly kills it. And after this, Monferno should honestly just be able to Mach Punch the Kranidos as well. So here's a Rock Throw. And that does, you know, not hurt that bad. That's actually fine. <laughs> One more Power Up Punch is going to do the trick on the Onyx, and then all that's left is going to be that Kranidos, which is their level 14, so it's a little scary, but honestly, with all these attack boosts, I mean, you really, there's pretty much nothing that can go wrong, right? I didn't even need to use Machop, hello? Think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the other ones? Probably, just going to click the same move here, buddy. Uh, ooh, it's a freaking Pokeball animation, sick. So it has Mold Breaker, here's the Kranidos, super cool, probably one of my favorite fossil Pokemon. I'm just going to go right for... Uh, Man, I don't know what moves this thing might have, actually. I think we're probably fine. Guess what? Power up punch. <laughs> so we are faster, no need to mock punch, and yeah, yeah, guess what? You're dead. So that is pretty much how you do it at the first gym, boys. Um, we do get to level 15 and 14 on that. And uh, expect that to be a little bit more difficult, but considering power up punch Monferno, there's really there's nothing I could have done wrong. Um, as we progress in this game, it's definitely going to get a lot more difficult, but for now, we'll take that easy easy dub. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's the story, you were strong. That's everybody you fight doesn't have a single gym badge. You're the first guy. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon Le Co League coal badge. Boys, we've done it! <gasps> Can I shine the badges? Hold up. Hold the phone, boys. I need to know if I can shine the badges. There's no touch screen, so I don't really... Should take these too. We get TM 76s. We get Stealth Rock, which is nice. Very thoughtful of you. And some stickers that Rock uses. Hello? Get to actually use some stickers. Sick. Okay, so now we get to see the real question of the day. Uh, view badges. Can I shine these things? I can't shine them. Hello? No way. I need to rub these badges. <laughs> That is unfortunate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully gone through the first section of this game, beat the first gym leader, and we have not lost a Mon yet. The team is looking great, better than ever. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will be continuing this playthrough over on Twitch, so if you'd like to uh, check that out, you can always click that link in the pinned comment or in the description. Catch these episodes live. They will always go on YouTube as well, if this is easier for you to catch. Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like on the video and a comment. Uh, let me know what you think about this game so far. I, I'm enjoying it. It's you know pretty much what you can expect is a remake, but pretty beautiful. Having a good time. Peace out, guys.